I am on my way to one of my favorite places to eat here in Athens called Paraliki. I don't get over here very often because it's all the way in Karamikos, but I'm meeting a friend who's sort of not visiting me, but visiting Athens from out of town. So uh, we're gonna take her there so she can see it and have some good Greek food. cheese for the appetizer. I absolutely love this stuff and of course Greek bread. All right our food came really fast and we're very excited. We both have ordered pasta. So I got risotto with asparagus and she got mac macaroons from Carpatho, Crete. Crete, okay. I don't know. It looks amazing though with the mushrooms on her plate. I'm kind of regretting what I got now. Anyway I'm sure mine will be great. Every time I go there I love the food. The wine was great, the bread was great, and now I'm going home. Right before I went to Napoleon, my table and chairs came. So I've been trying to eat lunch out here at least once a week, and it is hot. Um, although I shouldn't complain because I've been dying for summer to come. So it's here, so I'm going to enjoy it now. I'm on my way to go do one of my favorite summer activities here in Athens, and that's to go to the summer cinema. I am going to the one that is in my old neighborhood in Kolonaki. It's called Cine Dexamini, and I'm going to see Top Gun, the new Top Gun, obviously. Uh, I haven't really read too many reviews about it, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to relive my childhood tonight and, you know, enjoy the first outing to the summer cinema. The other day I was missing my old neighborhood, but I've just walked up the stairs and the hill, and now I remember why well, I don't miss it. Ooh, and now that it's humid out, definitely don't miss it. We're here. <laughs> so, it's up in the square, which if you watch my videos for any length of time, you've seen me come and hang out here. Anyway, it's right over there. And I don't see my friend yet, but that doesn't mean he's not here. I just haven't looked yet. Oh, there he is. And here we are. I've gotten drinks and popcorn. And we have about 10 minutes till the movie starts. Ah, uh, summer has begun now. So if you follow the community tab, you know that I've been kind of under the weather. I just haven't been sleeping well. Um, so I've just been super tired and I didn't film all last week. So I'm trying to make up for it. However, me being me, I got the chance to go sailing. So on Saturday, I'm going sailing. So in the next couple of days, I'm prepping to go on this trip. So I just thought I'd show you a little bit of what goes into me getting ready to go on a trip, particularly when it's last minute. So one of the first things I have to do is laundry and I still don't have a washing machine yet. So I'm about to go to the laundromat, do the laundry. Um, I pulled out my soft-sided bag because when you go sailing, you should not take a hard shell suitcase because the cabins are usually small and then you'd have to live with the suitcase. So that was under my bed. It's a little bit dusty. So I'm gonna wipe it down before I, before I leave. And if for some reason you haven't seen one of my videos in which I do laundry, this is what a laundromat looks like in Athens. Pretty much what a laundromat looks like everywhere. <laughs> it's not manned. Uh, they do have a change machine over there. So you just come in, you can do washing, you can do drying. Uh, it closes, it's open from like 7 a.m. to midnight. There is Wi-Fi, so if you wanted to come and get some stuff done while you're waiting, you can. Although I will tell you, there's no heat and there's no air conditioning. So in the winter and the summer, it can be a little bit, you know, either really cold or really hot. It's starting to get hot in here. So I'm actually gonna go out and get a bottle of water while this does its thing. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. And these are called easy washes. Uh, I have not seen another like brand or chain of laundromats here in Athens. This is the only one I've seen. One of the other things that I had not counted on doing before going on this trip was filming a video because I thought I would do it this weekend. So I'm frantically trying to get next week's video 
recorded so that I can have something up for you guys while I'm off on my trip. And so I have picked up so that it's presentable in here. I need to move my chair so that it's in front of my camera. Um, so for what you guys probably may not realize is that when I film one of these sit down talking videos, I use my Sony uh, A7R2 and not my GoPro. Um, the GoPro is great, uh, but I can't really zoom in on my face. <laughs> so it, it's uh, better to film with this. But I thought I'd show you guys just a tiny behind the scenes of what goes into this. Okay, I have filmed that now. And despite living in this apartment now for four months, I still have issues with the filming setup. Uh, so <laughs> I do about you know, three takes before I actually start recording and then halfway through I have to stop and start and stop and start. So anyway, now the video will get edited and hopefully all of this will be fine. And I'll get it uploaded before I leave because I guarantee you I'm not going to be able to upload a video on a Greek island with limited internet. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this little sort of mini behind the scenes. I didn't really show you guys too much. It's just too much for me to do to film myself filming myself. The other thing I have realized today when I was filming is that obviously I turned off the air conditioner. It's on now because it's about 28 degrees in my apartment, which is steamy. And my face was starting to sweat during filming. So uh, this summer I have to figure something else out. Um, I've turned it back on now. The big thing is, is it does make a lot of noise. Not a lot, but it makes noise, and I don't really want that to show up on the video. Obviously, it is here now, but I'm showing that to you. Um, and now, the real behind the scenes is moving the mess that was on my desk back to my desk. You would also think by now that I am pretty prepared to go on a trip, even if it's last minute, and I am. But sailing requires some different things that I don't necessarily like have all the time. Um, my summer clothes are starting to look kind of ragged because I haven't bought new clothes and I don't know how long. So I'm hoping tonight to go do a little bit of shopping. I really need a new swimsuit. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen on this shopping trip, but I will take you guys with me um, just to see some of the things that I'm going to buy. Um, Sailing requires that you don't pack in a hard suitcase, as you saw. It also requires you to pack light because you're sort of living in this tiny cabin. If you haven't seen any of my sailing videos, I will link to uh, the one from two years ago down below so you can sort of see what I'm talking about in a sailboat cabin. I mentioned that I was going shopping um, because I needed things, and one of the things that I do um, although for a while when I had more practice traveling, I always make a list of what I need to pack. I mean, like down to the nitty gritty, like underwear, socks, uh, makeup, medicine, everything that I could possibly need or that I think I'm going to need so that I don't forget it, um, particularly for this trip because I'm going to be flying to the island of Kos and then I'm taking a ferry from Kos to Leros and I'm immediately getting on the sailboat. I won't really have time to do any kind of shopping once I hit the sailboat. And the first island I think that we go to is only inhabited by two families, or so I've been told. I don't know exactly the plan yet. This is so last minute, I don't even know what the plan is for sailing. And you know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> These people have been sailing in Greece for a really long time, so I'm not so worried about the itinerary, but this is what it looks like. This is what the dirty list looks like. Um, sometimes it gets specific and I like black this, white this. Here, that's not necessarily the case with some things. I've just been like two swimsuits because that's one of the things I necessarily need to buy that I'm hoping to find later tonight. Okay, next on the list, as you know, is shopping. I'm down on Ermu. I'm not walking in the center so I can avoid the sun because it is still very hot. <laughs> but it feels pretty okay in the shade. It's just like directly in the sun. It feels pretty unbearable already. <laughs> so I've had some good luck shopping, some not so good luck shopping. Found a swimsuit, which I really needed because mine are many years old. I haven't found any shorts yet. So we'll see. It's not like absolutely necessary. I have shorts, they're just falling apart. That doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be on a sailboat most of the time. Okay, 
I have bought all of the things that I'm going to buy. I'm not doing any more shopping. Most importantly, I got two books because I'm hoping to read on this boat trip. So since I'm down here, I thought I'd give you guys an update. This is what Singtagba redecoration looks like. I read a news article this week saying that they would be ready by June 15th. I don't think that's gonna happen, but they're getting a lot closer than they were. It really uh, doesn't look too much different than it was before, it seems like. So we'll see what happens in the end. I have been in such a rush to get everything done before I leave. I haven't shown you guys what I've been doing for packing, but I have started packing. And because I'm going in this sort of big loosey-goosey suitcase, I am using my trusty packing cubes. I will put a link down in the description box below because these will keep me organized on the trip. The only thing I haven't packed are t-shirts. I haven't figured out what I'm wearing on the plane yet. Um, this is stuff I've decided not to take. And yes, I do have my suitcase on my bed. Don't come for me. My sheets are dirty. They're gonna get changed before I get into bed because I wanna come back to clean sheets. So it wasn't a big deal for me to put the suitcase on the bed because well, the sheets were already gross. So here we go. Here's my list. And I will mark things off here in a minute to see what else I need to do. I also have a few reminders set on my phone so that way um, I don't forget. They're not on the list, um, but also if I look at them here and I'm done packing, I may not look at it again. So that's why that reminder is set. All right, the last of the things that I needed to do have been done. I took out the trash and I've gone and gotten cash. Normally I would clean my apartment a little bit more than I have, but I just don't have time. And I need to go to bed early because my car, the taxi, is picking me up at 3.30 in the morning for my 6 a.m. flight. I hope you guys enjoyed this little sort of behind the scenes of my daily life, you know, getting ready to go on this trip. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.